Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Condes, and today I'm going to talk to you about common illnesses that we see in the summer months. So winter, we typically think more about the respiratory viruses like flu and RSV, but we can actually see those viruses in the summer too. They can be year round. So definitely in the summer, if your child is exhibiting symptoms like trouble breathing, cough, wheezing, retractions, meaning you can kind of see their ribs move when they're breathing or breathing really fast, which we call tachypnea, you would want to contact your doctor because they may want to test your child for some of those more common winter respiratory viruses, but in the summer. Another common illness we see in the summer is what we call viral gastroenteritis or what a lot of people call a stomach bug or stomach flu. This is an illness typically characterized by a fever, a couple of days of vomiting, and a couple of days of diarrhea. As long as your child is not having any severe dehydration, such as um, their skin is very dry, their mouth is very dry, they're not making tears, and they're urinating less than two times a day, things you wanna watch for with those illnesses are signs of dehydration, as well as if you see any blood in their vomit, or their poop, you would wanna come into the emergency department right away for those things. Or if they're having very severe stomach pain, it might be something else. But most kids who get a viral gastroenteritis have several days of symptoms, but generally do well. You can treat them with supportive care at home, meaning giving fluids frequently, giving them medication for fever if that makes them feel better, and just generally allowing them to rest. Summer is a great time full of lots of fun, but we do still see some illnesses, so reach out to your pediatrician if your child's having any unusual symptoms.